little unboxing here tool that's from Rambo Tools super proof spatula Guys, so another unboxing here to come, and believe it or not, it's a pole, and it's going to be this box, super proof. So, just show you this pole up close. You can see the good attachment, release button, metal, sort of shaft here, and wood. Pretty. Pretty good grip on this and it does feel comfortable so it doesn't feel too heavy as you can see should be good for doing the scenes giving away what the unboxing is here we just get a Stanley knife we get cracked on to this Blade in this thing. Straps on. So, here we go, guys. It's a brand new super proof spatula and this one differs in the fact that it has a nice wee extra blade here. Just take that wee protector off. And you can see slightly rounded edges, very so slight. Still nice flexibility on. But this here extra wee blade here won't let it flex too far and it should be really nice for straightening up and getting them ceilings nice and flat so can't wait to get this reviewed get it used and do have one similar but obviously like I say this is this here bit here makes this more unique and can't wait to get this used on ceilings and I'll hopefully come back to you with it on the go on the ceiling. Let me just show you this quickly the, the attachment here from Rambo Tools Super Proof. I'll get this open. Yes. So this is the clip I was telling you about. Bear uh, with me a second here. I'll show you this. Showing the pole. I'm not sure it matters which way it goes or not, but let's find out. So I was told you have to really push this down until it clicks. That's it. That's right. So that's it on, attached to the pole. To get it off, release the button and off again. Click, done. Lovely. So now you can walk your ceilings. Slide her in. Tight. Two two wing, wing locking nuts here. Just twist in to tighten it in and clamps it in. There you have it, ready to straighten up on the pole. So, see how that's going to work in lovely. It's nicely balanced too. So, again, looking forward to getting this bad boy reviewed. The, the daddy of all of all spatulas. I think these guys were the first to ever make the spatulas and come up with all this technology that we're playing about with today. So 
Let's find out and see how the Superproof Spatulas carry on on set. So, you all know that I love straightening out my bottom. Um, may as well give this Superproof Spatula a nice trial here. So, any stipple ceilings I get then I have to bond. I always give them a quick straighten. Get them flattened in. And also, you just know some of you may have watched the previous video that I give this whole ceiling a walk. And this product here is the new Make Good Blaster. And it did help me flatten that in as well. So, not only on those few jobs, but I have used it on quite a couple of jobs now. And do like it. Again, it's, it's a metal blade, so... It would be pretty pretty good on satin cement and also k -rent. I was meaning to use it on that k job but I never really got a chance, just, just kept going. You see that it is taking the lines out well there as well and what it'll do is it will show you where your hollows are and your dips or your bumps and you might have to fill out around the bumps. and. Just stay it up on the stilts for this one to walk it and uh, to get a good feel of the blade. And uh, obviously, I haven't broke the blade in myself, just gonna allow that to happen over time. And uh, you probably could file down the sides a wee bit, but I prefer just to, to use away at these tools and break them in more naturally. Same as my float, as some of you might know that I'm trying to break another float in for rubbing up nice and smooth around there again. But yeah, not, not finding this spatula too bad at all. Definitely a handy tool. Good that it has the the attachment and the pole as well. It's pretty handy. And it's it's really working a treat on big ceilings especially. And I have used it on the pole as well. It's quite comfortable and nicely balanced. So definitely a good addition to the spatulas I do have. And I will for sure be putting it up against the likes of the Tizak one and the Speed Skim as well. A mate of mine has the Speed Skim with a big metal blade on it. I have a, a smaller one. He now has a big 1200. And I sort of have, have used them against each other already. But I'll leave them findings to a, a future video. And let, let us know what my thoughts are between it and the speed skim and the spatula and the Tizak spatula sorry and basically I'll put them against each other I have done speed skim against the refina spatula as well and again it, it also has the clip as well but I might do it like a big massive one of all the spatulas that I have quite a lot now speed skim the super proof Tizak refina and some some more uh, Spear Jackson ones as well, but um, f I haven't found any of them particularly bad. I have got on very well with them all. And a couple more videos coming up where actually I'm working around kitchen work taps and I use a small, small spatula just, just for handiness. Easy to get around the sockets and stuff. But yeah, I definitely think if anybody's interested in that video, let me know in the comments. And uh, for sure, we'll, we'll do. I did do sort of versus Speed Skim versus Rafina Spatula. And I'll try and do a better one. Um, don't think they were great. I uh, had a few comments on them where people thought it was going to go into better detail. Um, and I really think it can. And should do in the future if people are interested i'll definitely make that video so hopefully you are looking forward to that and you know time always tells if you constantly see me using these tools like the certain trials and stuff that i'm using time and time again it to me really shows how good the tools are and they speak for themselves and you can see the shine that that's actually on that angle that it's brought in through the window there.